How to do an outstanding cephalometric tracing in one minute. Okay, maybe three. There is a service that I've now been using for over 25 years called Rocky Mountain Orthodontic Diagnostic Services, RMODS. This is a group of people who have been working with Rocky Mountain for many, many years. And Rocky Mountain has these very capable tracers and they take care of your cephalometrics after you send it in by email. You just link it up on their website and you get back a packet of 16 to 22 pages of information about your patient. And you have spent almost no time because, well, first of all, your staff can do the linking, the uploading, and sending off the photos, the x-rays, the scan models, the things that are needed for Rocky Mountain. And let me tell you what you get back. Yes, of course you get your CEF tracing back, and you get a list of significant considerations which the computer is programmed to spit out based on your patient's um, results. They're not diagnosing, they're just giving you a, a list of what they see or what the computer sees going on with your patient so that you can do fantastic diagnosis. You can get a predicted final adult height. The parents and kids love that unless it's too short. If you have somebody who wanted to be a basketball player and they're only coming in at 5'10", sometimes they're not real happy with that. But other than that, everybody loves it. You get a Bolton analysis, which tells you whether or not you're going to have upper and lower tooth um, sets, tooth masses that fit together nicely, or if you're going to end up with spacing or crowding in one arch or the other when you try to set them on top of each other in the occlusion. It's nice to know that. Can you imagine going into your treatment planning knowing pretty well how much IPR you're going to need or should at least be considering having their waiting in case? You also get um, information about the bone age, the skeletal age, as opposed to the actual chronologic age. So you have a pretty good idea of when their growth is going to be complete and how much time you have left to work with them during growth. That's really pretty important too. You also find out whether they have possible excessive mandibular growth which is actually a variable of four factors. If they have four clinical deviations or more in four specific factors, porion location, ramus side position, cranial deflection, molar position, those four factors are critical in telling you this is one of those kids that could grow out from under your correction and you wouldn't know why. They might have not even started out plus three. These are some of the incredible things that come back to you in your RMODS packet that comes right into your email box in short order. And your staff has spent merely a few minutes sending it off and there you have it. So you wanna do your stuff, Tracy, you wanna do your, your um, records, turn them into your more um, um, diagnosable pieces of your puzzle. You wanna get more information about your patient without any trouble on your part. There you have it. If you want more information, let me know. I'm happy to help you. I use it on every single patient. It is fantastic. Dr. Chris, signing off.